guys! So my name is Shazara Christy Mohammed, and I am the CSEC Chemistry teacher at the Student Hub. So I'm going to be doing a portion of January 2015, question 1, part G. So this is a qualitative analysis question. We have to complete table 2 to show the observations and inferences from tests carried out on solution M. So in part 1, a portion of M we are adding aqueous sodium hydroxide until in excess. So our inferences are that we have the Al3+, Pb2+, Zn2+, and Ca2+, ions present. So what that means is that we are going to observe a white precipitate. Once you are given these four ions as an inference, it is automatically a white precipitate. When we add sodium hydroxide, dropwise. The second inference is that we have aluminium, zinc, and lead present. So what happened is when we add the sodium hydroxide in excess, we crossed out the possibility of the ion being calcium. The reason for that is calcium, unlike the other three, is insoluble. So our second observation would have to be that our precipitate is going to dissolve. So part two, the second portion, we are adding aqueous ammonia until excess. So the first part, we are observing a white precipitate being formed. So that white precipitate is just confirming the second inference that we have. So we have the same ions, Al3+, Pb2+, and Zn2+. The second part now, when we add ammonia in excess, we have a soluble precipitate. So what we are doing, we are saying that our options would be narrowed down to aluminium and lead. Those are the two ions that will be present because zinc is going to be soluble. The question actually stated a soluble precipitate, but you will notice that this part is supposed to actually say an insoluble precipitate in the question. So to the third part, we are adding a portion of M. We are adding sodium iodide. And we are going to notice a yellow precipitate being formed. When we have a yellow precipitate being formed, it is automatically lead. So I'm going to make a note here that it is the Pb2 plus ion that is going to remain. So we need to write an ionic equation for this reaction. So it's going to be lead, Pb2 plus, and our ions are aqueous. You're going to include the state symbol, plus, and our product is actually going to be potassium iodide and potassium iodide is yellow, so that is why we observe that precipitate. And to the last part, to the fourth portion of M, we are adding aqueous silver nitrate followed by aqueous ammonia. This is to test if we have any halogen ions present, and because we have no observable change, we can just say that no halogen ions were present. So just for reference, if we had the chloride ion present, we would have seen a white color change. If it was bromide ion, you would have seen a cream color change. And if it was the iodide ion, you would have seen a yellow color change. So that is the end of part G. See you all next time.